like, call me when I go home. Home back to Hot Butcher for the World. We are FLX Beer Reviews. And I remember when Other Half used to be the home. No more. No more. No, it's my outside of New York home. In Chicago, place. Illinois, where it's brewed. Uh, we're FLX Beer Reviews. Another episode of As Beer Swirls. My name's Dan. That's my name's Mike. Mike Dan. What are we drinking? Run to Daylight. Hey! Dale! Oh. Um, yeah, so this is their triple India Pale Ale. And uh, this beer also comes courtesy of good friend, viewer of the channel, friend on the untaps, Citra, Simcoe, and Strata. That's his name. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kenny P. Uh, but this uh, beer is hopped with Citra, Simcoe, Strata, and Galaxy. Oh. Triple India Pale. It's 10. not so ABV. No. Uh, we are all over the map today. It's been wild. It's been I amazing. have been attacked by a hex bag of a can that housed a Japanese lager that I had to bang out behind the shed. If you want to check that out, Go find that episode. We're saving that for our Patreon channel. <laughs> you're yeah, paid. Yeah. You're not paid uh, to watch that. Blue can on date. Uh, but we know yeah, this right. was uh, made in April. Yes. So, yeah, we looked this up. Um, yeah. Um, this is the final beer of the glorious Kenny P package. Is that, Holy shit. Is that what P stands for? Package? Kenny? Do you have a glorious Check package? Check out my package of Hot Butcher. Um, so this is... What's our last triple we had? We had Peak Mosaic. I'm pretty sure it was Unwind Your Mind. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? You missed it Look at all. it all. Look at it Dude. all falling. There was oh like, my god! Yeah, I saw it all come out. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> get in there. Oh yeah, here. I'll get in there too so it focuses. Oh yeah. You oh yeah. That. that is Well, all. we're gonna have a different beer. Oh yeah. You think I was confused by the hex bag? <laughs> by the time you drink that, it's going to be like watching Tony Montana after he sits there with his big old pile of you-know-what at his desk. I'm going to breathe this with my mouth open. Uh, that is super hazy. Uh, milky. Just milky, thick, by the way, heavy juice. By the way, hashtag, hashtag proper, proper glassware over here. Uh, Peak Mosaic. I mentioned that. You'll never see that episode because I accidentally deleted it. But, uh, spoiler alert. We rated that. I gave that like a, maybe a 4.75. It was freaking delicious. Oh, man. I mean, for all the garbage in here, just subtle juice, subtle citrus. Got like this dirty blueberry feet thing going. Oh. Not blueberry, but uh, dirty feet. berry feet. It's like a stank, stanky, like stanky uh, honeydew. Okay. It is an earthy aroma. Ooh. A little bit of green vegetal in there. Mm -hmm. There is some orange. Like orange powdered mix. Oh, okay. Like tang. Like tang, yeah. Like the original tang. I, I'm telling you, it, the nose is so subtle, I feel like it's just going to blow up on the, on the palate. It is kind of cold. Well, yeah. but I, it's okay. I here, like here's the thing. The yeah, I mean, triple yeah, is like from Jell's Arcade, like some cold right yeah. out of the fridge too. A lot more up. All right, cheers. Yeah. All right, cheers. Dive in. Thanks, Kenny. That's very juicy. Oh, yeah, that is. That's very very juicy. The juice is loose, baby. The juice is loose. Um. Yeah, very, uh, it's hop oily. Um, you and the hop oils with the I'm hop I'm telling oils. you, it's very oily. Uh, it, it's, it's very pungent on, like, once, once those, uh, flavors start taking over your palate, like, they take over your nose, too, and it's, it's a bitter, uh, kind of green, like, dank bit of citrus. It's like your, uh, your honorary, honorary, uh, city slicker with all your oils. That is turned into just a mound oh, of... Oh, man. Dude, if you drink I'm not going to. You're not going to? Yeah. What What can I do to make you drink that? You would have to divorce the crunchy roll beer. I have the can in my pocket. I can't do that. Yeah. Um. It's... Oh. <laughs> I mean, it'd be good for you, I think. It's a lot of protein. You think so? Yeah, like... Uh -huh. Yeah, just just add to all the good things going on in my body right mm -hmm. now. It would kind of just enhance my quality of life. Body on this is very full. Uh, matches the ABV, I think. It um, does. Mouthfeel is just like 
it, it, it's creamy. It's um, <clears throat> I think it's a little vivacious. I I am in agreement. It is vivacious. I was gonna say it's very pungent. It, it's it's a. It, this is fantastic. So the sweetness for for me is not a problem in this one because it's a triple. It's supposed to be sweet. Yeah, but it has. The hop presence and that, that kind of juicy citrus kind of, uh, I guarantee there's probably lush tropical on here. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, I'm getting that film of like, just like chalk stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, there is a really nice, uh, there's a confectionery sugar to it, like the bubblegum uh, kind of powdered sugar over it. Um, it, it is sweet. I could drink this all day. I could. This is delicious. I would like, I want to fry up that yeast in a frying pan and just eat it. Now that's something we should film. A little, little yeast cake. Don't want to get an infection. Um, what are you doing? Frying up the butch. <laughs> frying up the butch. It's making butch cakes. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. What, what kind of chip is that, bro? It's the yeast from the old beer I drank. I do. How many do you make? I get one chip of beer. <laughs> You've got uh, 46 cakes there. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to make a whole bag. This really is a... Uh, I, I can't... I don't think I can sell enough how how juicy it is. Like, it's not just like you get some tropical fruits or citrus. Like, it's literally juicy like Starburst, like an orange Starburst. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting, I definitely get some, I think the Starburst is right on. Uh, it's orange. It's lemon. I think there's a little how, cherry in there. How, how? Ooh. Yeah, I get like, I get like some nice. Wait, I can see that. Cherry. It's very like good. a bright wild cherry. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! It's really good, dude. You are a genius. That's like the fruit I couldn't pull. It's the hop cake. It's like it's like Ludens wild cherry. There you go. It's got a little there Ludens wild cherry in it. It is burning the back of my throat though. Maybe a little lime, but yeah, that Ludens. Ooh, it is. It is very. There's a lot of hops that you can tell. It's yeah, hop burn. All telling you, it's like like this is. This I feel like it's destroying my palate. It's right saturated now. with hops. Oh, it is hop saturation. At its I like this beer. What do you rate it? Um, I'll give it two. Uh, I think a two. I'm going to give it two oh. ratings. Oh, okay. My first rating being a two. No, I'll go with a. I'll go with one first. I was going to go with two, but I'll do one first. My first rating. Will be for what it is. Uh, for what it is, I think it's spot on. Um, great for a triple. Uh, I think the the bittering, the juiciness, the candy flavors. I think they all balance pretty well. Uh, personal rating, I don't know. It's it's low three. I, I couldn't finish this, and I, I probably wouldn't. It, it's triple. I'm not a big triple guy, so it's not for me. But for what it is, I. I think I think for what it is, you're right on board. I just want to see all the. Do it looks like malt. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. That's the goodness. Look at that. That's how much freaking hops are and crapper in this. Holy shnike. It's, it's been a while since we've seen that much crap come out of the of a can. It's always Hot Butcher. They always. All right. Uh, uh, either Hot Butcher's getting lazy or I'm getting smarter. Uh, Lush Tropical. All right. There you go. Uh, fresh Citrus. Okay. Yeah. And Wafting Greens. Sure. Yeah. Um, great can art. Uh, I think the Jets a label on this one is yeah. very apropos for the beer. Run to daylight. It's, so definitely, uh, the juiciness of this, like, I could see, like, uh, drinking this, I get the feeling of, like, I'm on the beach with the, the sand, the, the water. This the, is not Scream Beach to me. 
Really? Oh, not at all. Like, for me, it's like Coco Cabana, like, beach. Like, you put this in a coconut. Can you imagine? An IPA. Okay. A triple IPA like this in the coconut. Like, that fresh, juicy pop. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. I don't really care for coconuts, so no. I, I, I know you go, don't. I would I, not go to this beach again. I'm not trying to cater to you. I'm just trying to oh, say okay. in general. Talk to them, then. You guys imagine that? His weird beach fantasy behind the shed. Do you see what that can of fucking Japanese lager right? did to us? It's tearing us apart. It's tearing it chose, us apart. It chose it over me. It chose it over the brand. You gotta let it go. You are the one that needs to let that can go. I mean, look at all this. Look, that's just a... It's a beautiful beer. It really is. That's a good looking beer. 10, 10 freaking percent. 10, 5. It's delicious. All right. Alrighty. Uh, down description below. Uh, all the link trees. Mike is not a fan. Uh, don't you take the no. Don't you pour that in there. We're frying that up later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Click all our links. Uh, whether you think we're in a coconut shell on the beach or not. Oh, my. What happened to all the beer? Yeah. I don't know. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.